it doesn't matter what the season, there always seems to be a fruit-laden tree groaning with produce. With so much fruit on a tree, the problem for many gardeners is knowing what to do with it all. And who better than the South Australian Country Women's Association to set us straight? Tamara Hall is the State Property Officer for SACWA and passionate about using homegrown edibles. We don't like to waste any of our produce. Waste is not a good thing. If you're going to grow it, use it. The current situation we have with fruit fly is not ideal. We used to do a lot of sharing within the areas. We now don't, but we can cook our produce and then we are allowed to share it. I'm making an orange and lime sorbet. It's very easy and quick and refreshing. We use three oranges two limes, about 120 grams of icing sugar, and 650 grams of ice. And then we crush it all up in the blender. I've got my orange from the oranges and limes that I grow at home, and it just makes beautiful sorbet. You can eat it straight away, or you can keep it in the freezer for later. Next recipe. We are gonna make Tam's refreshing smoothie. I've got my orange, I've got apples, I have a beetroot. I also have some uh, freshly um, minced ginger, 500 mils of water, and then I also have some apple juice. We are also going to put in about three scoops of the sorbet that we just made, and then we blend it up until it's all nice and smooth. Easy. That is fantastic. Oh, I'm glad you oh, like wow. it. Oh, wow. Okay, what's next? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make some avocado dip. So I've got a couple of avocados, a lemon or a lime, a pinch of salt, a couple of cloves of garlic, some fresh chives, cream cheese, and a little bit of olive oil. Blend it all together, and then you have some really lovely fresh avocado dip to go. Tamara, we couldn't possibly be talking SACWA recipes without talking scones. <laughs> We love our scones. I have chosen to do an apple scone. We have two apples, peeled, cored, and then you finely dice them. We have one of the packets of our Lauki's flour mix scones. We use 230 mils of water, some caster sugar, and we also need some plain flour for kneading. So what should a good scone dough really feel like? So you prepare your dough, and you knead it until you get a nice, smooth consistency, and the dough stops sticking to your fingers. And when you put your scones together, make it so they're quite close. That helps them rise straight up. And then we put them in the nice hot oven. For more information and wonderful, tasty and easy to prepare recipes, head to the South Australian Country Women's Association website for a selection of cookbooks to purchase online. Now, if we want to continue enjoying our fresh fruit picked direct from the tree, then we have to be aware of fruit fly and importantly maggots. So if you find a maggot in your fruit, it's vital you call the fruit fly hotline on 1300 666 010 because only together can we help protect South Australia from fruit fly and continue to enjoy a bounty of this beautiful food? Thank you. So, what are we going to start with We're now? We're going to start with the apple scones, I think, Kim. Yes. Yeah.